My name is Kurt Thompson. I'm Associate Professor of Violin and Head of Strings at the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music. I'm also the founding director of the Bemere Chamber Music Festival. I started this festival with a colleague of mine from school in Texas in 1998. We invited friends from years past. Essentially, we built a festival from the ground up. The caliber of musicians at Mimir is, is really second to none. Frank Huang, this is his third time to Melbourne. He's the same Frank Huang he was the last time he was in Melbourne, only this time he happens to be the concertmaster of the New York Philharmonic. Teaching is one of the most enjoyable things that, that I do on a normal basis. Um, I was lucky enough to have very good teachers in my youth, in my college days, and um, that kind of inspiration uh, to dedicate your life to music I think is very, very important to pass on to the next generation of, of musicians. The Mimir Festival is quite a special and unique festival in the sense that uh, on top of performing there's a lot of teaching involved. That's sort of what sets this festival apart from many is that educational component. It makes for some long days, um, but it's certainly worth it. It's very exciting for me to see light bulbs going off for these students as they learn this incredible repertoire. The growth that happens in those few days is remarkable. I will always make time to, to do this particular festival. I'm one of just a couple people who've been at all 18 festivals as they have happened in Texas, and I've been at all three of the festivals that we've had here in Melbourne. The fact that we have the young artist groups here sort of observing us and we are coaching them is a, a wonderful part of it. It's unlike most master classes, in fact I've never seen one like we do, where often there are more of us on stage than there are students performing. All of the faculty comes up to the stage and so you're coached by four people and usually there's just one master teacher who gives you instruction and um, but here it, it's, it's everyone coming together and it's, it's almost like a family. Each artist has a new idea of the piece. Um, so we get multiple ideas coming through. And the best thing is to actually use every little bits from each one and then put it all together and have this whole new idea that comes out of our music. So it's really good. The wealth of knowledge um, and experience that the Mamiya artists have to share with us as students, um, I found that absolutely incredible and inspiring. <laughs> They all have their differences, but there's a very common kind of theme running through their feedback, um, very much to achieve that kind of ultimate blend of sound. Exposure to that level of artistry inspires everyone, and we often find that after the first performance, the level of attentiveness and growth in our students skyrockets. I don't think I've seen anyone play as well as they do. Someone that's so good to come in and actually be able to work with them is a real inspiration. I don't really go to many concerts that make me feel the way I feel after going to a Mimir concert. The, the energy is just, it's electric. When you have a chance to, to play, for me, at the highest level of artistry that we, that we have because of the people involved and the, the commitment that we feel towards the music combined with friendship, um, I think that's sort of an unbeatable combination. Staging Mimir in Melbourne and in years to come, I really want for it to be an inspiration for MCM students. Melbourne is a rich city for chamber music and I get a great deal of pleasure putting our students together with some of the finest musicians in the world.